Natalie? Well, my two pounds. Yeah, I know who you are. No, we've just come to ask Robbie to come back to London to continue giving his evidence. He's not here. What treatment did they give him? Well, he had chemo. He had the same as everybody else. He was just too far gone. That's what they told us, anyway. What are you talking about? Who told us? I don't think it's good for you living on your own. You need to mix with people more. Fuck off, Natalie. You don't know what's good for me and what's not, so why don't you just leave me out of it, all right? Rosie Cooper, the MP. She thanked you at the time. She gave a statement saying how grateful she was for what you did. She was supposed to be meeting us at the uh, House of Commons today. That's why I came down here, but it's going to go along with you, wasn't it? Mm. Where are you, Scarlett? Well, the police cancelled it this morning. And they told us she can't meet with Robbie. Why can't they just leave it be, eh? My mum's got Ellie and I wanted to go out in London afterwards, do some shopping. I was looking forward to it. That's what happens to people like us, isn't it? Right, get your coat. What? We're going shopping, come on. We'll get the tube into town. You coming, Rabbi? Oh. <laughs> Absolutely not. We'll put that dress away, Rose. Are we not attending the ball this evening? No, we are. But I shall wear the white and silver instead. Mm. And my hair, will you do it just the way you like, with the circlet of jewels and flowers? Of course. You look perfect. Good. Rose, is everything all right? I cannot sleep. It is quite late for you to be up too, is it not? Mm, there's much to be done. If you're nervous about the wedding, you need not worry. I assure you, I'm managing everything. I will be ready. I know you will. You are not who I worry about. The Duke. Has he asked to beg off, miss? No. But he may wish to. Every man entertains doubt before the day, I rather think. But it does not signify. He will be a good husband to you. A good father as well. Miss? He cannot have children. I shall not pretend to understand the extent of his physical impediment, but I imagine it is a source of great pain for the Duke indeed. I have an aunt. She lives in Greenwich with her husband. And they've been married for 10 years now and never blessed with children, but they still are to each other as husband and wife. Theirs is a happy union. Because they love each other. At least your aunt has that. I shall not keep you, Rose. You must have a hundred things to do. Of course, miss. Good night. Ah, oh, apologies, your grace. Our activities are quite spirited. I admit, I did not even know it was possible. I believed his physical inability to, to have children would preclude him from causing such difficult entanglements. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm quite glad to say I was wrong. Referring to anyone who uses this crisis for their own selfish ends, Archie is Archie. Shoots from the hip, straight to his own foot most of the time. You can't sack him, can you? Well, I've got bigger things to think of than cabinet reshuffles today, thank you. Like your daughter's police interview? All right, they'll do. Thank you very much, everybody. I think there's enough lynch mobs running around right now. Perhaps we should let due process take its course. You're classy, Jane. Well done. 80% is in the white.